Zephaniah 2, verse 1. A call to repentance. Gather yourselves together. Yes, gather together, O oh, an undesirable nation, before the decree is issued, for the day passes like chaff. Before the Lord's fierce anger comes upon you, for the day of the Lord's anger comes upon you. Seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth, who have upheld his justice. Seek righteousness, seek humility. It may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. Verse 4, Judgment on Nations For Gaza shall be forsaken, and Ashkelon desolate. They shall drive out Ashdod at noonday, and Ekron shall be uprooted. Woe to the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Cherethites. The word of the Lord is against you. O Canaan, land of the Philistines, I will destroy you, so there shall be no inhabitant. The sea coast shall be pastures with shelters for shepherds, and folds for flocks. The coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed their flocks there. In the houses of Ashkelon they shall lie down at evening, for the Lord their God will intervene for them and return their captives. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the insults of the people of Ammon with which they have reproached my people, and made arrogant threats against their borders. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be like Sodom, and the people of Ammon like Gomorrah, overrun with weeds and salt pits, and a perpetual desolation. The residue of my people shall plunder them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. This they shall have for their pride, because they have reproached and made arrogant threats against the people of the Lord of hosts. The Lord will be awesome to them, for he will reduce to nothing all the gods of the earth. The people shall worship him, each one from his place. Indeed, all the shores of the nations you Ethiopians also, you shall be slain by my sword. And he will stretch out his hand against the north, destroy Assyria, and make Nineveh a desolation, as dry as the wilderness. The herds shall lie down in her midst, every beast of the nation, both the pelican and the bittern, shall lodge on the capitals of her pillars. Their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be at the threshold. For God will lay bare the setter work. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt securely, that said in her heart, I am it, and there is none besides me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down? Everyone who passes by her shall hiss and shake his fist.